I had to laugh because my hair looks ridiculous. It is New Year's Eve 2020. Good riddance to 2020. We weren't actually planning on coming out here, but we looked at the weather this morning. It's like, holy cow, we're supposed to get a ton of um, ice. It can be very damaging, but it's absolutely beautiful on the trees and everything. So hopefully we'll get more of the snow and hopefully not as much ice as what they're talking about. We're going to enjoy ourselves and it's going to be nice. So the weather, it's about five o'clock, even though it's super dark. Um, the storm's obviously on this way. The kitties are down my feet. Oh, my hair. Anyway, um, it's super dark. We're going to have a nice night, have some sparkling cider, and we'll do some dips and things like that. So hopefully we'll wake up and it'll be a, a winter wonderland. So happy new year. I know when everybody sees this, it will be past and hopefully we'll get caught up soon. But hopefully everything in 2021, well, let's just, let's just say, we'll, we'll take it a day at a time. How's that? How's that? We'll just keep take it a day at a time. So everybody be well. I think our solar panels are getting much power today. It's a frosty morning. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. Nice and icy and yes. snowy and wet. Snowy and it's snowy. Snowy. Snowy, snowy and St. Louis. It's Got so my good. coffee. A little bit of damage from the ice, but I was going to cut this tree down anyways. So. You left the dinosaurs out. <laughs> A little confused on what's going on. Stretch. So all the cats like to cuddle up in my mini right in there. So I put a little, uh, um, little cushion in there for them and they sit on the seat too, but they'll all be inside there cuddled up and staying warm. So hopefully I'll get some time to, I got this side all cleaned out, but hopefully we'll get a chance to get it set up for a uh, breeding coop for the chickens. And my tire's flat again. See, we got some pretty snow. Isn't that lovely? It is so pretty. The girls are trying to find a sledding hill. Uh, Tim got up, gosh, it meant maybe around four in the morning to let the dogs out, and he said it was pouring then, but we definitely got some ice. Not as much as they had anticipated, which is good, because that's what we were hoping for. Uh, we did see one branch that was down, but that's not a big deal, because that was a tree we were going to be taking down anyway. But it's just gorgeous. We did get, like I said, we got some ice. There's snow on top of it as well, but it is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? absolutely gorgeous we're gonna go have some fun now and play in the snow and go for a really long walk so there's less snow now than there was last year but sydney's determined to make it down the hill Ram. we didn't get a chance to clean up this hill we plan on moving all the rocks out and cleaning everything out so we had a nice smooth path here but not working I can barely see you girl Get some bird poop on that one? No, it was just <laughs> One thing I've always loved about winter that you don't get any other time of the year, and I always forget about it until we get a nice snow um, or icing like this. 
is the calm and the quiet. You can just sit here and listen to the trees talk to you. Just a little crinkling sound. It's like one of the best times to just sit out in the woods. You can see deer popping up and animals scurrying around and everything's just quiet but alive. And it's very pretty. So here's another good example of how long this farm has been not used or has been vacant. So this is an old um, feeding bin for cattle. They dumped the hay inside and they would eat. But this uh, tree here, this is a hedge tree. Probably, I bet if we cut it open, that's going to be a good 30 years maybe on that tree. This is day two of our winter storm. Um, not really dropping much snow, it's just pretty much all ice and then it's got a light snow right now and everything frosted over last night so you can see how pretty it is. You get ice and the frost, it really whitens everything up. But house-wise, you can see we are still, panels are still completely covered with ice. Um, there's a chance of the sun coming out tomorrow, uh, just, or excuse me, late, late, late today to make it a little bit, but it's not going to melt anything off the panels. Um, my daughter last night goes, well, get up there and knock the ice off. Now, if you get up on a, you know, 16 feet off the ground <laughs> on a slippery roof and knock the ice off. Uh, but anyways, um, if it doesn't come off tomorrow, because we're down to 62%, I think, on our charge. And this is day three. Um, so long as we've gone before is four days. Um... But the difference on this one is that the panels are completely covered up. So before we went four days, but we had um, cloudy, but the panels weren't covered. So we're actually still getting around 1,000 watts a day off of it. Where now, not only is it cloudy, but it is also, uh, the panels are completely covered. So yesterday, um, I checked it once and they were getting about, oh, I think 350, 400 watts, something like that, which... You know, barely gave us enough to run what we're doing inside. We typically run in the RV about 600 watts or so, depending on what we're doing. Um, so tomorrow, if they don't get off, if the ice doesn't fall off, I'm going to have to go up there and take them off a little bit. But tomorrow we're supposed to get some sun, so hopefully I'll melt some and then things will be back to normal. Um, my batteries are set to cut off right at about 50%, where the whole system just shuts down so you don't um, overuse your batteries. Um, still don't have a generator ordered. That's dual phase. Um, so I gotta work on that still. Day two of snow. It's so pretty. We're getting ready to go for another walk. But first, I'm going to release the hounds. You guys ready in there? You ready? Huh? Here they come. Here they come. What do you think? What do you think? Do you like the snow? Do you like the snow, huh? Come on, Boo Bear. Your whiskers are so funny. You know, all the ones on one side are white and the other side are black. Do you smell something? There's something up there? Oh, that was cold. Who 
is this? Sally the snowman. Sally the snowman, and she is in camouflage, right? Yeah. I know, we don't have a lot of snow, but it's sticking. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, now we're we gonna go do? Walk. Go for our walk, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go. Bye bye, Sally. Wait! Watch the six a sled <laughs> and really not enough snow to use a sled. You're just gonna go down on your stomach. <laughs> Great melt. We had a freezing fog this morning and now the sun's out and everything's just melting like crazy. I got up on the roof and I scraped the panels off. I don't know if I needed to because um, everything's pretty much melted up there already. It's coming down like crazy. Um, we are pulling in almost 13 kilowatts of power right now which is awesome because I was kind of concerned that um, the highest we've ever seen the panels pull in has been about four or five kilowatts and I was wondering if it would pull in more if our batteries were really low. So over the last couple days we got down to a 54% um, state of charge just because we've had this ice storm. The panels were completely covered up for three days. Um, it's been cloudy and cold and uh, this is the first sunny day we've had in a while. So we got down to 54% and we actually unplugged the camper from the house last night and just ran everything off the uh, propane uh, to save on power because when we went to bed, we were at 57%. So just the refrigerator and the router and whatever else is going on inside the house brought it down to 54%. We lost 3% overnight. That fridge pulls nothing at all. I mean, I'm just amazed. Um, Anyway, so we turned it on, got everything scraped off, been monitoring it, and you know, first we were at uh, 3 kilowatts, and then 5 kilowatts, and 8 kilowatts, and 10 kilowatts, and 11 kilowatts, and now, when I just looked a little bit ago, we were at 13 kilowatts. This is a 15.3 kilowatt system. Um, now, I don't expect to get to 15 uh, because, I'm sure I mentioned this before, but the panel, they're on two different angles. so. This is a gambrel style roof and the lower pitch is 12-12 and the upper pitch is 6-12. So the steeper pitch, the 12-12 pitch for our area is set perfectly for winter collection. So those panels are almost getting absolute direct sunlight right now. The upper panels are set for summer collection. And the reason why we did that of course is that in the winter we need to have more, more power because we get these long days where um, uh, we don't have a lot of sunshine coming in or we need to have more power uh, because our solar hours are only about uh, between three and four hours a day whereas in the summertime it's like seven to eight hours a day something like that so we don't need as much as many panels in the summer as we do in the winter time so when your panel gets uh, when the sun hitting directly on your panel is more than 15 degrees off then you lose um, your efficiency in the panels so those upper panels right now they are not uh, oriented correctly for the sun. They are way off of that 15 degrees to where the sun is. So they are not at 100% right now. Whereas the whole array was at 16, no, it's 32 panels. So the lower array here is 32 panels. And then there's another 16 panels up there on top. So right now the 32 panels are operating at 100%. And the panels on top are probably operating um, I don't know, they're not 100%, but we're getting 13 uh, kilowatts last time I checked, which is awesome. So the batteries are zipping up. We were at 54%, now we're at, um, checked a little bit ago, we're already at 60 something, and uh, they've only had the sun on them for maybe, maybe an hour. So, oh, the water come down all over the place. One other thing I noticed when I was on the roof, which kind of, I don't know why exactly this happened, but, well, I know why it happened. So, over the bump out, sort of that window bumps out right here, uh, right up there at the top. Um, when I got up uh, to scrape the uh, ice and everything off of the panels, 
uh, the gutter was full of foam. And so there was clearly a gap between the sheeting and the uh, um, wall there. It didn't take much. And when they spray foam that area, it actually pushed out. It pushed the drip edge out and then the foam came out of the bottom of the drip edge and filled the gutter up. Um, so I cleaned most of that when I was up there, but I need to get the ladder out and clean that up even more. What are you doing? Like it's raining there. ice. It is. At least Sal was so mad. Let me out or I'll bite your ankles off. <laughs> 